Hello, welcome to part 9, and we're pushing back against the Croatians. Uh, last episode we retook this area, which has a decent population, and now, luckily, we have a higher population than these guys, because we're taking back our town slowly but surely. And obviously the less population they have, the less men they have, the less resources they have to fight us. And we're constantly producing more and more artillery, which will station the border towns. Manpower is decent, and apart from that, yeah, we'll just have to continue on. After we've produced a few more pieces of artillery, we'll um, focus on maybe some cheap infantry, some BTRs. And looking up north, the Germans have pushed into France, and I don't think the French will last very long. I think the Germans start with more uh, production capability, so they can build more tanks, and they've got pretty decent units. I think. Both France and Germany have decent units, but um, the Germans have far better units. So look, they've got really good tanks. Anyway. I wonder who they're at war with. So it's going to check France and us. So France and uh, and their sort of vassal states and us. Oh, and it looks like we're going to destroy a few of their units because the Macedonians are coming up and helping us. Retaking a few towns, which we must remember to garrison. Victory here will be a matter of, depending on our artillery, our ally, and um, just making it very hard for them to retake towns. As you see, we're retaking these oil fields, which is very nice. Um, I'll wait a few days until we restart construction of these, just in case, just to make sure the area is secure. Because there'll be no point spending money on it if we can't hold the area. Let's just continue. And Garrison has the clock ticks. But luckily the Macedonians have just decided to burst up through. They've still got a decent amount of units. Tell you what, we could probably do a supportive action. I want to probe this town. Or we could surround these guys. But let's see who's here. And it would be great if we can clear them out of this area. Taking a risk here. Moving our artillery. It's undefended. Hey, well, you guys stay here for now. Is there a garrison there to protect you? No. Let's see what you can get away with. I don't think they have the manpower to garrison too much. So yeah, we're reclaiming land very quickly. We nearly pushed them back to the... I think that's the original border about here. Or something around here. Excellent. Can you take these? Oh, and these are pretty much undefended. Apart from a... Ah, damn. They're coming in now. You guys can go back. So they'll probably retake this area, but at least we know... We'll just let them have it. Get out of here. We know that they're quite vulnerable. You guys can go up there. Please just entrench. Go for you entrench there. Oh, that'd be terrible if they can get through here. Ah, it's well defended. That's why I put a garrison there. And artillery. And they're just being slightly annoying. We don't need a garrison there. But we can't get rid of them because um, he's being attacked currently. Are we still producing units? Yes, we are. Okay, tell you what, mate. Stop producing... I don't know what I call him, mate. I should call him... Um, land fabrication. Stop producing... artillery and stop producing these guys. Which would cost us 700 men. But they're really needed. And we don't have tanks. Tanks are quite good because they don't have... 
I don't require as many men. We like 150 men for like a division of tanks. 132 here. We should be researching that. Up for some of them. Yeah, that'll do for now. Put some pressure on them. Run them out of town. Oh, and then may, may get stuck without some, any supply. But I've got a feeling they're just going to break away. But it is good that we've managed to push them out again. You guys can go there. Now that's garrison up that this whole area, so that doesn't happen again. Because they're expending a lot of resources trying to retake these areas, and eventually they're going to run out of men and so on. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can find the losses of manpower. Casualties. We've taken 130,000 pretty much, and that's for all our all our casualties. We've lost a decent amount of men as well. Um, actual units. Can we see Croatia? Croatia. There we go. Found that surprisingly quickly. So they've nearly taken 70,000. I think they've only been at war with us. So they're taking massive losses. Three land fabrications and one naval thing that might be. Yeah, land, air, naval, and missile. That's what they stand for. I believe. So we've got some money. So and it's protected by this river. So let's restart production. Construction, I should, should say, of these oil facilities. And then we'll keep an eye on our economy and see if we can afford to do that. So we're constantly making money, but it's not a huge amount of money. It's very hard to maintain. Alright. You come up here. A few more units. Do we have any more? Standard infantry. Yes, you guys have been sitting up here doing nothing. You can come here. You can come here. Okay, that's very good. So you've massed there. Now we've reached here, I think. I don't know, hopefully they won't be garrisoned. If they're not, it's gonna make a huge gonna be a huge bonus for us. Hey, there we go. Let's retake this mine. And this guy's probably gonna get cut off and killed. You stay there and get murdered, please. I'm just gonna pause quick to check um, how long I've been recording. Okay, I've got now another eight minutes or so. And this guy is going to get killed. Wish I could use this artillery a bit more. You get in there. We need Whoa, actually, no. You stay there. Where's the infantry? Try and be useful. Get out of there. It's good that we're hurting our artillery there. Destroying it almost. Okay, pull back. I need to remember to garrison again. I'm terrible at that. It's good we're taking that. And our economy is still stable even though we started to rebuild these or build these um, oil production facilities. Get away from my artillery bastard. Hey, I'm uh, smashing their units. You go repair. It's good that my guys are experienced now. So they, these are hardened units, and they get a, a pretty decent um, combat bonus for that. You sitting there? Fine. So Terry survives. So he can move up. 
Whoa, and France has nearly fallen. When Paris falls, it it may just surrender. I imagine so, because most of France is gone. This area is quite hard to take, though, because there's so many close towns. And they normally have a lot of garrison around the capital. So, But I'm sure the Germans will. Because eventually the France's economy will collapse. But of course, when the French do finally capitulate, um, the Germans will still be at war with all their um, sort of vassal state nations. I suppose you'd call them. And their allies. Or puppets, that's the word. You guys can move up to support the Macedonians. We're looking like 16 days till that's done. We've got a bit more manpower now because, yeah, we've got 15 million. So we're getting like 3 million in the past few days. Ah, we're taking that. It's alright. It's fine. Let's get some more. We'll pull some artillery off. And when are. When. Where is our. Where are our infantry units that we sent to repair? Is that you here? There's one there. So you can go bother this guy. Please destroy him. Yes, good lads. You can just chill out there. Entrench there. So we're going to have hordes of artillery just to smash them. But uh, we did have one more infantry unit somewhere. <coughs> going to bring everyone. We've got four all together. Oh, he's sitting there. Oh, I'm sitting there. Go there. And then we counter attack. Try and cut them off. Good, good. All right. That's fantastic. We take this town, please. The artillery can just hang back there. Because they can't cross the river. They don't have the... Um, whoa, they're coming in. Okay, sit there. Can you support in any way? Ah, we're losing men. But more importantly, we're actually, we've actually lost a unit of our infantry. Ten days till it's replaced there. Can you get round? I need to secure this some way artillery can cross this river. Oh, can you take this? Yes, and that's one less production or construction. I suppose you'd say production unit or land fabrication, whatever. I don't know what you call them. Been a bit funny with my words today. Fantastic. You guys are doing a really good job. So we, lost, we lost a lot of um, artillery. But we'll get rid of that. Forget about that. Construction complete on that. Won't be too long. And I think our economy is getting even better now. We've retaken some of these mines and things like that. Put a decent road. I think we started building that in the first invasion, but didn't get a chance to complete it. And after this war, if we do win, we should do, we will uh, just take some time to rest and maybe research some, like 
I was saying before, that tank, and so on. I have conquered France. Hang about, I haven't... what? France is eliminated. And I have conquered. So what the, what's happened here is the Germans have conquered France, let's be honest, and I've been at war with the French, and... and I've gained a little bit of it. So if I annex them, I think the Germans are just going to take it. If I colonise them... I'm not sure what happened. I mean, there'll be a puppet, but will the, the Germans will be at war with that puppet. If I liberate them, then... then I'll just have a friendly nation. But I don't know how it's going to work. Um, I don't know why it's done. It's a bit of a glitch in the game. Let's see. I'm just going to liberate them. Do they? Where are they? Is that France? This is France. So what? We've we've liberated them and they've given us these units. So this is like an exiled France, and we have some of their units. So can these guys make it back to our territory? Think about. I need to reinstate this airfield. Okay, can you guys get home? Can you station there? Can we get any full transitory? Come on. Be bastard. You should like us, we bloody liberated you. Okay. Can you get home? These would be really useful <coughs> if we get these guys home, but I've got a feeling they're gonna die horribly. Did one get through? Uh, yeah, they died horribly because they went over Rome. I should have thought about that. I thought they would take the long way around, but no. So that's very interesting. We've got a somewhat friendly France. That's very strange. I should have annexed them if I knew it would be this area. But oh, that's interesting. I've never, I've never really seen that. I don't know why that happens as well. Okay, who do we have up here? Our infantry is down here. Well, mostly our artillery. I think our infantry has died. Who else do we have? We've got all our infantry up there. Which might just be one guy at the minute. Who's in the vicinity. Okay, you get down there. Good. Whoa, hang about, what's going on here? Romania has invaded Bulgaria, which used to be our allies, but uh, sort of deserted us. It's very interesting. Very worrying as well, because the Romanians have a full cause of belly on us. Um, we have a decent justification towards them, but it doesn't really matter, because everybody hates us anyway, we could declare one. But I'll have to defend this area soon, I imagine. There's a decent river there, but um, the Romanians could be a problem. And beyond that, there's the Ukrainians, so if, even if we did manage to conquer Romania, the Ukrainians are very powerful. Though I'm sure they're occupied with the Russians. Okay, let's just continue. Let's finish these guys off. Two days, two days until those are done. Those are done. And I think some of these good uh, aircraft did get home, but not the combat aircraft. Can we produce any aircraft? No, we don't have anything researched. We need jet engine improvements to research this kind of terrible MIG. Apart from that, it's mostly pure garbage. Oh, looks 
saw that advance in there. I saw some movement. You need to. Why, why are you running off? We need to support your artillery. Okay, let's try and take that. Is there anyone there? No, undefended. You fools. So let's just garrison the whole nation. Because the Romanians may attack. If I need more manpower, then I'll disable some of these facilities. Disable some of the airfields. Do you, do you have garrison here? Whoa, they don't have garrison in their capital. That's retarded. And we've annexed them. Whoa! We've inherited loads of these ships. What we need to do is destroy the ports immediately before the... the, um... Italians land. Otherwise we'll die. That's Slovenian. Okay. So this one here... We probably get rid of this on these airfields as well. Um, deactivate that. Or can we just deactivate them? Deactivate and destroy it. I don't care. Just make sure it's gone. And in the meantime, garrison these. For the love of God, please garrison them. And our ships can just chill out in here somewhere. These are outdated. We could probably sell these on the market. Maybe to the French, I'm sure. Because I think they're the only people in the world that like us. And we've inherited some aircraft, at least this one. So this is very good. Um, we're in a pretty strong position. It'd be stupid to create any more enemies. But um, I'm also scared to take Italy because the Germans would then be behind them. Worried about taking Hungary because the Germans are nearby and, well, and Poland's above that. And then the Romanians are a constant threat. They're probably the biggest threat to us at the minute. So all our aircraft just do something more productive than wasting fuel. Okay, let's double check. Double check. Look. Ooh, there's a port there. Destroy that. It's a good spot. If I do say so myself. Because that was former Croatian territory, I think. It would be nice to get rid of these guys. But I see no reason to further anger the Anger of the world. Okay, let's double, triple check. Port there. It's a good job I am checking. Destroy that. It is a shame, but uh, it's a good thing to do. Been destroyed. Port there. Destroy that. And of course, this is our territory, which we've already destroyed. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, it's good to have them all pushed out. And what's our population at the minute? Not 3 million. Over 21. 21 million. And a bit. So, thanks for watching. This has been part 9. Might be a bit long. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. And stay tuned for the next part.